Uh, okay, opening hand. Yes, uh, I should have a, 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 a Lena Harper in my deck, right? Yes. Okay, I just wanted to make sure before I hit uh, hit go. Oh, this is kind of a cute opening hand, but I hate that I have it now. I'd like this hand, like, next turn. And so I'm going to get rid of this and this. And draw two cards. Okay. I see how it is. That's just the way that this bitch of an earth... <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, so we didn't actually resolve things properly last week. No, we just no, kind of we just we just played it out. It. Um, the big thing is that we got zero VP and we reached Falcon Point after sunrise. That's right. Uh, which which does mean we start with one doom. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a curl of mist wraps the lighthouse in an otherworldly veil. The waves lap the rocks and the shoreline like hungry wet tongues. Ugh, I hate that imagery. Overhead, the moon gleams unnaturally bright in the sky. You have a curious feeling you are not alone. Locations on the same row are connected to one another. Yeah. And the okay. doom... Right, so, the doom accumulates. Don't forget. Don't forget, Pax. Locations yes. on the same row are connected to one another. Yes. Yes. Also, uh, if a location is on the same row as another, as another location, those locations are connected. Do not forget this. Locations on the same row are connected to one another. And yeah, also, I know. I, I just said that twice. I'm done with this. <laughs> and also, when they're on the same row, locations are connected. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. I know. I think we're good. I know. You know. Yeah, you know. I, I you're, know. You're like, I, I know. I'm not, I'm not the one. <laughs> okay. Uh, the Lighthouse. All signs point to the Lighthouse being the base of operations at the Esoteric Order of Dagon. There's not much left of Innsmouth to investigate, so this is your best chance to find answers. What exactly is the order up to? You must find out before they realize you're here. Six clues. Cool. None of these can be flooded. Wait. Oh, the lantern room can be flooded, just not fully flooded. Lantern room cannot be flooded at all. Ah, it's cannot too be high flooded. up. It's gotcha. the top of the lighthouse. The water doesn't get there. But all these can be partially flooded. Gotcha. The Falcon Point Gatehouse. I love... It's 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 kind of funny, but, like, the gatehouse has such, like, gross art of this deep one. When it's like, yeah, this is... But this is, like, where you peace out. This is where you fuck yeah. off. Um, <laughs> yeah. All right. Do you have a strong argument for going first? Uh, I do. I can give you money. Oh, uh, I mean, I don't need money this turn, but fuck it, go. All right. Uh, I'll start out by playing a medical student. Ooh. Uh, just for starting my turn, which is pretty cool. Because mm -hmm. uh, I get to heal for one and one. And I should actually start at three. Yes. Damage. That's right. So that gets me down to two and zero, which is better. Um... And then I will action one play a stand together. Oh my gosh. And then I think I'll play down a sig case and a mouse. Oh my god. Yeah, and that's that's me. That's I'll how I start. Slap this plucky into play as fast as I possibly can. Uh, and then I will play for one resource, an old key ring. And then I will scooch over a location. So all of these are connected right now. Mm -hmm. um, um, starting here is not necessarily great. It's some easier clues, but like, you want to come back here to get the flashback. Yeah, fair After enough. you've been up top. Uh, Show you the... Uh, Stairwell this one or... is harder. This one is easier, but there are many. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna go here. probably do this if you're a survivor. Yeah. Uh, after it is revealed, place the set aside yellow key on it. Okay, cool. That's that's fine. Uh, I will investigate this location with the key ring and commit a gumption to it to bring the difficulty down to zero. Hell yeah! yeah. Oh, I didn't even. I didn't even. 
to copy these over. Gotcha. You got me. Lock. You already locked it. Uh, but that was a skull, so minus one if your location is flooded, revealed additional chaos token, which it is not, and I get two clues and lose a key for my effort. Good start. Yeah, yeah that's definitely good. Look at this shit. Both my pluckies and a grizzled, so the grizzled can come back to hand later. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling uh, a decent to light six on this one. Two of four doom. So we don't have forever, but it's a start. Hiya. Hiya. Uh, test two, mm. increase the difficulty of this by two if you're at a flood. Okay, so it's not that. Uh, if you fail, take a damage and put Kizabrine into play in your threat area. You cannot gain Ooh. resources or draw cards. The damage is nasty. The Before damage you. is more of a problem because it nukes my plucky. Um, and what is this looking like over here? Is two up? Two up's pretty reasonable, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think I think I do an unexpected courage to try to be two up on this one. I think that's reasonable. Ah, minus three. Well, by one. Okay, so one damage, and then this goes in my threat area. Uh, and I cannot gain resources or draw cards this turn. Yeah, it's just a one-turn thing. Mm-hmm. That's alright. Uh, oh, what am I doing? Right. We, we literally yeah. just talked about this. I really <laughs> wish you could take the damage <laughs> on yourself there. Yeah. Uh, dissonant void. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. That's, that's actually a pretty nice that's, opening uh, round. That's actually free. Yeah. So. That's a pretty nice opening round, I think. We're not, we're not hating that. <laughs> no. Uh, I can go first, and we can see how I... Well... Yeah, yeah, go for I won't it. get a lock done, but I can head up to the lantern room. So I'll go to the stairwell first. Yeah. Um, right. Uh, three clues or two clues here. Three shroud. Fast. If there are any relic story assets currently set aside, add one to your hand. Is does, is this supposed to have a limit to it, or can you just go? Blah, blah, blah. I could just uh, grab all three of these and prevent you from taking them. Funny. Okay. Um, I mean, there is always the question of, like, which ones do we each want? Yes. Um, I feel like the headdress is really good on me. The Awakened Mantle probably better on you. And the Wave Worn Idol's good for anyone. That's right. I'm going to just, just take this into my hand. Yeah, go for it. I can't play it uh, That's right. this round. That's right. I'll move up for action two. Ah! Oh, right. And the lantern room is actually two shroud, not one. Oh, okay. My mistake. Uh, well, uh, I have nothing to do but just try to investigate, I think. Um, there is no consequence for failure up here, so I'm just, I'm just playing the odds of slightly less than 50. Which, whatever. Success. Now, who said that Leo wasn't a survivor? M me. You, you are the one who said it. You cannot gain resources he's, or draw cards. That's fine. He's just that. He's that uh, three int thing of like, like Tink Tank Tony, as Scott calls him. Like, yeah, where you just you get when you're at three in, you can just go to these locations and chuck actions at it until you get through. Yeah, and if you've got the actions, then you get through. <laughs> and if you don't got the actions, you don't get through. Yeah, then you um, beg your your clue people. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and do a read the signs and commit everything in my hand to it. What? Okay. Um, because I would like to just yeah, get these I mean, clues and not come back. Yeah. So that gets me up to that gets me up to eight against four, and that's a minus. Easy. Three. So we're grabbing those, grabbing the clue or the key, scusi. Uh, unfortunate to lose both my enraptured and not get anything for it, but that's all right. Uh, so that's action one, and then action two and three. I guess I'll probably come up and clear this with you. Probably. Maybe, I'll, maybe I'll move up and then I'll add 
Uh, oh. Which of the... Oh, no, wait, hold on. Yeah, don't take them unless you can play them. <laughs> yes, that's right. That's right. And that would mean I wouldn't be at up there. But I could be... I mean, I don't think it's a big deal for me to end my turn here, is it? I don't think so. I feel like adding one of these and then playing it would actually be pretty good. I, um, I think so, yeah. I feel like right now the Awakened... Having the Awakened Mantle and playing it would be more useful. Like, I'm not really triggering either of them at the moment, because if I, if an enemy spawns on me, there's not even a good chance that I can do anything. Mm. But if your flood location changes, or your flood level changes... Oh yeah, no, that's true. Okay, yeah, no, that that yeah, no, that's a fair point. Okay, I'm gonna add that to my hand and I'll play it. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. At the end of the enemy phase, the kiss of Brian discards, which is very nice because that would fucking suck ass if I could oh, not. Oh god, it would be terrible. Take my upkeep phase as Patrice, and I did have a take heart, which maybe I should have committed to that uh, kiss yeah. of Brian, but that's okay. Oh, as. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, right? Like, eh, well, you know. You win right, some. Uh, three of four Doom, uh, so we need to not add Doom right now. Okay. I just say that because there's peril cards kicking around here. Ah, gotcha. Or at least vanilla, they're peril. <laughs> uh, I don't know what they are now. But... Uh, unflooded, gain surge. Rotting remains. We'll take we take a rotting remains. That's a terror. That's a terror. Hey, did you hear about what fucking all, always prepared actually means? Yeah. Did you Wait, see what? me arguing about that for like fucking ever? What does it actually mean? <sighs> On this card, after means when. Because you're supposed to add this to hand before you resolve this card. Oh, it's just mistyped. It's just wrong. It is just oh, okay. Wrong. Apparently, I think that's the way everyone played it. That's the way it. a lot of people play it, but it's not the way that I've. I mean, it's not what it says, so it's not what I've played. Yeah. Right. Um, and and more to the point, that's not what it does for enemies because enemies don't fucking have revelation shit. <laughs> right. Yeah. But the fortunate thing oh. is that I don't have to sacrifice any of my morals because I have a grizzled in hand anyways. So I will commit my grizzled, and then after the test ends, return this grizzled to hand. Uh, hang on. Eh, it's like, it's, okay, okay, you handled this one doesn't work unless after refers to... Yeah, but that one says, it. that one says after you oh, draw before, it, resolving, before resolving the effects. Effect. Wow, look at me just ignoring the second half of that sentence. Yeah. No, I see your point. Minus four, but I had a plus <sighs> three on top of my four, so nothing happens. Bye-bye. Born oh. to breed. This is a new treachery for the return to. Check okay. your campaign log. If you have recovered the memory of the life cycle of a deep one, which is from later in this scenario, discard born to breed without effect. Otherwise, shuffle all enemies named deep one hatchling from the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck and born to breed gains surge. So this is just a surge here. But, yes, fortunately. Okay, so it just recurs the worst enemy in the deck. And I shouldn't say the worst. The the most annoying sometimes enemy oh. into the deck. Okay. Um he's gonna take a card. He's gonna be a jerk. Well this sucks. Uh there's no way around that. This is, this just sucks. Um Is it better than a Doom though? Like, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, but... Yeah. I just don't know if I can kill him. Uh, um, uh, oh, that's poopy. So that's fine. You you just have to make sure you get the clues. I can probably get these clues. Okay, you just have to get two clues this round. Yeah, I can get these clues. Okay. Do I need to get two clues uh, this round, or one? Uh, Just one, actually. Yeah, because of you. Look at you go. Do you want me to just yeah, run up I and make sure I can do that? I, I think you go first, and then you can commit to me when you're up here, and that yeah, might that's make right. a difference. That's right. Okay. Uh, I'll pop up. 
I will old key ring for two against zero. Uh, oh, yeah. look. Hey, I, I succeeded. Uh, now you have to pick up two clues because the difficulty was zero. Um, I want to look. Oh, uh, I'm, a, I'm a silly, silly person. Why are you silly? Oh, I just, I just fucked up a little bit. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to be very sad at myself. I'm actually oh, just no. going to use up the rest of my old keyword and getting this last clue. Uh, wait, do we advance first? Uh, we, we might as well. There's Four. no reason. Not yeah, to. we may as well now. Yeah, yeah, no, just, yeah, just spend those. Did you already drag them? Oh, no. Okay. I was playing them. Playing with them. Yes, I saw you playing with them, and I was like, "What is he doing?" And then you were like, oh, "I want to, I want to flagellate myself rather than advance." So I didn't. <laughs> uh, as you tip through toe through the old time worn structure, you hear muffled conversations from within the small cottage attached to the lighthouse. You press your ear upon a nearby wall and stand perfectly still, your heart racing. Find them, a deep croaking voice orders. Do not let them reach the grotto. The order's secrets must be preserved. Yes, Osiris. A few quite you probably didn't hear any of that because I have um I have Chris. I heard him. Oh, okay. All right. Um a few quiet voices reply in unison. You wait until the sound of footsteps has faded before you resume resume your investigation. It looks like your hunch was right. Osiris is here. Advance the agenda directly to two A. Do not resolve agenda one B. Right. Uh, if we enter the lighthouse basement before the agenda advances, advance. Cool. Is this just the... Yes, it is. Okay. Um, cool. Right. And this is this asshole that he pops in and out of the victory display, doesn't he? Uh, if you kill once. him too early. Just, just once. Uh, no, it's not even if you kill him too early. Oh, he just does it. He will just, he will just come back later. Rat bastard. Okay. Um, what I was going to do is investigate again with my old key ring yeah. just to get it used up and remember that I can commit a resourceful to it. You sure can. Uh, I'll get that last clue and then I will search my discard pile for a plucky and put a plucky in the play. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And then this is also discarded. Mm -hmm. um, can you technically, with old keyring and resourceful, yes. can you? Yeah, okay. That is what I thought. Sorry, for anyone at home, what's what's the full thing? Oh, what's for the actual at home, question? The question was: Can I choose to resolve old keyring's effect first, removing the key from it? to get the extra clue, then it automatically discards because there's no keys on it, and then resolve resourceful second, adding the key ring back to my hand. Answer. Yes, they are both, if you succeed, timing triggers. That's right. So you can so they happen at the want. same time. But I want the plucky because I'm out of actions anyways. Yeah. Yeah. If only I had two yeah. resourcefuls. If only. All right. Uh, now I gotta kill this bull and also Osero's somehow in the future, despite having only one weapon. So, oh. I'll shoot my gun and commit this overpower. How much does that put you at? Uh, that puts me at eight on four. Okay. Uh, to ensure that you will get a second shot with this, I will I commit think that's this the grizzled way to do this. so yeah. that you get a plus seven. On top of that. Okay. Well, why don't I just take the plus five from the Grizz plus grizzled is a five against this thing. Grizzled is a humanoid and deep one. It is humanoid and deep one and monster. Oh, this is just a plus seven on its. This own. is just a plus seven. Okay, cool. So that makes me attack at thirteen against four. Yeah. Which I am very pleased with. Didn't even auto fail. Oh no! Only a minus three. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that means the gun readies, and I get a dollar, and my LCC goes off, and he takes, takes two, two damage. damage. All right. Ooh. Oh. 
no, I need to just keep shooting. Uh, so I'll shoot again and commit an overpower this time. How much does that put you at? Uh, this is eight on four. Eight <laughs> on four? Um, I'm going to commit a promise of power to this one. All right. Get you up. Get that Mauser money and get that Mauser ready. Yeah. Uh, this is 12 on four. Uh, so that's a nine on four. So once again, I get the ready and the dollar <clears throat> and two damage and a card. Uh, <clears throat> all right. I think we'll be okay here. Um, do you have a single icon? Or sure two? do. Oh my god, you're amazing. Yes! <laughs> uh, and now I'll just shoot the Mauser at uh, 7 on 4. And we just have to not hit a minus 4 here. Um... Yep, cool. Yep, classic. That that happens. Thank you, game. That's That's allowed to happen. That's not... That's tricky, but it's not the end of the world. Yes. If it had happened on the first one, that would not have been allowed to have happened. <laughs> that would have been extremely... Bad. Would have been not permitted. Oh, should I take this white key, by the way? I'm just going to take this. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you should. Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to take that. I'm going to read what it is, too. A pocket telescope. And the yellow one is a heavy iron ring crowded with prison cell keys. Yeah, okay. These make sense. All right. Uh, cool. enemy phase. Deep one bull's gonna hit me. For two. Yeah. I'm gonna say that's okay. And we're gonna upkeep. Okay. This is fine. Oh, right. This At is all roads. tolerable. I think. Would you like to take an action to try and kill him, or would you like... I extremely do not want to lose a random card from my hand. Okay. I cannot stress how bad it would be. Okay. If that is the case, then I might just take... I might discard a card at random to take an action. I don't know if that's necessarily a great idea, but I don't feel like losing an action for three cards is very good for me right so, now. Just to kind of evaluate the board state right now. Uh, Oceros will capture someone if he attacks them during the enemy phase. Mm -hmm. And he is able to move to anywhere on this row. Yes. This turn. Yeah. So I don't know how feasible it is for you to evade him. Possibly not. Not, um, not right now. Basically not no. right now. So that may just inform what we're trying to do. We are trying to get into the lighthouse basement. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. we get in there by moving. evading him or killing him. Well, moving twice, right? Uh, well, the basement is locked, so we can't get in unless we control the blue key. <laughs> right. And we have yes, to get yes, the blue key yes, off yes, him yes, by yes. either evading him or... Right. Or just beating him up. Gotcha. Now, I can beat him up, but it'll, that'll take a little time. So, I guess my... He's going to be here. I don't have anything to evade him this turn, but I don't need to evade him this turn, right? Wouldn't I need to evade him next turn? Uh, so this, what, what, what I'm right. thinking about is what happens if I lose an action and take three cards. It, yes, it gives me more cards, but it's not more cards to evade him because I can't move to him and evade him with only two actions. That is correct. And so I feel like I kind of have to choose the other option. Or accept that I'm basically not doing anything this turn. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a tricky spot. Yeah, this is a really rough time to have got this. But, fortunately, we are at a crossroads. Um, I'm sorry, that was... That was, that was that no, was, that was good. That was good. That was horrible. Don't, don't humor me. Uh, I, I'm a fan of that. <laughs> um, I'm going to go ahead and take my action, I think. Because that's not something I get a lot of as as Patrice. Yeah. Um, I'm going to use an action to play Madame LaBranche. Cool. And then I'm going to randomly discard a card from my hand. Okay, I'm actually... That's fine. That's fine? Yeah, look what I found is not something that I need, like, this turn. You know what I mean? 
Sure, I could have gotten some clues off the lighthouse stairwell, yeah. but whatever. These clues are not super important. Yeah. Yeah. All okay. right. Uh, so that was upkeep. You're yes, me. that was upkeep, and I now have okay. I now have two cards. So we go to four of seven doom. Yes. And encounters. Choose a location with at least one investigator on flooded if possible. Increase that location's flood level two times. We cannot do that. An investigator at that location places one of their keys on that location. Uh, if the chosen location's flood level is not increased, it gains surge. Okay, so that surges. And I lost a key. Call of the sea. Okay, this is this is basically not doing anything right now, though. So mm -hmm. that's a decent time to have drawn it. That was actually... Was this oh, another, like... that's bad. Oh, that's bad? Okay. Oh, that's bad, Pax. Okay. Oh. I was just about to say that this was another gimme turn, and now I feel bad. No, my turn was going to be play something and fight and play something and play something. So Dissonant Voices is bad for you, you're saying? Dissonant Voices uh, prevents me from having... doing things this round, which I, like, never say. Normally I'm like, oh, that's fine, and I cringe at everyone at the table who can't do things because of distant voices. But like, this is really, this is really uh, debilitating. Uh, I mean, like, I can fight this guy and finish him off, and that'll be it. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of stinky. I mean, I can, cl I can clear your call of the sea. Is the good news. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, the thing is, I can clear my call of the sea. <laughs> That's like totally unnecessary. Oh, shit. The, the big problem is, uh, is not that this turn is wasted. It's that, you know, Osiris is going to move down to the stairwell. Yeah. And because of this, I will not be able to just walk in and kill him. Right. Gotcha. Yeah. But I, I actually had a setup to walk down and just smash his face open. Oh, uh, okay. I um, I mean I might be able to I might be able to evade him. If I if I oh that's tricky. If I get a deep one or a terror next turn, I'll get a grizzled to hand that I can dump into a test yeah. against him that I will like I, almost assuredly evade him. So I think we just stay here and prep and we Yeah, it just sucks that your prep to. becomes what, drawing cards probably? Uh, yeah. So, yeah. um, I guess I'll start by fighting this guy. Uh, do you have a commit? Or... I actually don't, and I was going to suggest okay. I go first so that I can go, draw go some for cards. It then. Go because for it then. otherwise, so what I was going to do was draw a card first action. I mean, I can likely beat this guy without a commit, but. Uh, draw a card second action. Jeez. And then. Play a right of seeking and use Madame Labranche for a dollar. Uh, that's a good turn. Yeah. All right. I don't mind. I don't mind floating call of the sea for a turn. It's not a big deal. No. It in fact does nothing right now. So. Yeah. Uh, okay. So I'll shoot this guy with the Mauser, and now you have a commit. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, so kidding. that puts me three up. Three up. Yeah, I think I just take that and hope. Woo. Skull is minus one, and we're not flooded. So that's a pass by two, so I'll take a dollar. And trigger my cigarette case. And I am self-centered. But you did kill him on your first. I did kill him, and that's the really important thing. Uh, so fun fact, Call yeah. of the Sea is not a player card, so I can discard that for an action. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to discard yourself centered? Uh I mean, I guess the question okay, is like So that's that's a fair question. Um You cannot commit then, cards to other players' skill tests or affect other investigators with player card effects, except aspects that cause damage or horror. Right, okay, so you can clear that. So I, I what could. What do you um, do to help me with stuff, I guess is the question, right? Other than commit and stand togethers. And Faustian. med students, not a lot. Med student, I guess, would be the big one. Yeah, I guess right now that's not that's not that bad. So the other thing is, 
uh, the resource math is actually fantastic if I can click for a resource. Oh, okay. No, I'm, so, yeah, no, I'm fine with that. Let's do that. Okay. Cyrus hunts. Do I have a plan for this guy? No, but we'll we'll figure something out. Yeah, okay. That's fine. <clears throat> Old key ring and read the signs. Go to the... Fuck off. Go to the discard pile. Please please discard to the right spot. Thank you. Okay. I got a bot in blood. That's going to kill my med student. <laughs> fine. That's kind of what it's there for. Looser. <laughs> We're at five of seven doom. Uh, we have no. Oh, we just don't have a choice. Yeah, so that just places a doom. Okay. Uh, did you... you know? Okay. I don't think I've ever seen this agenda advance, and I think it's going to. Oh well. So we're gonna find out what happens. Uh, uh, so we got a deep one hatchling. So forced. It attacks me, and this card has Surge, but you do have a timing point right now. Ah, yes. Immediately take an action as if it were your turn. This action does not count towards the number of actions you can take each turn. Uh, yeah, I would like to do that. And... I might use that action to head down to Osiris, because I actually got yep. a lot of cards. Okay. So that's fine. I got, I got, I got pretty good cards out of that. And the hatchling surges, surges into worth his salt, uh, which allows Osiris to move a second time, but, but can't. he can't attack if he it's moves twice, cool. and he attacks for plus one damage and plus one horror. One time, right? So this one is time. like uh, okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, and I guess he is. Engage with you. Engage it with me. Yeah. Okay, that wasn't too bad, I don't think. Mm hmm. Um, do you think you're evading this guy? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Right. He's only got two. Do you right? want any help? Do you want literally any help with that at all? Um, I don't think I need it. Okay. Shall I just go first? So that if you can yeah. kill this guy, yeah. If you don't think here, you need it, go first. Okay. And I am going to first attempt to evade him by uh, evading him. Uh, by evading him. You no, know, yes, actually, okay. by evading him. This doesn't give him alert yeah. or anything, right? No. Okay, minus two. Oh no, I failed that. Mm -hmm. And so maybe I'll have hey. to try it again with an unexpected courage this time, uh, so that I'm I'm four up. And this isn't a flooded location, so yada yada yada. Oh, don't forget to grab that key on the way out. <laughs> hey, you know, <laughs> should actually, I, should I have done that? No, 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 no. This is good. <laughs> this is good. I can walk over to the cliffside where we yeah. need the white key, and you can just advance the act. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's actually very strong. If okay. I remember this correctly. Okay. Cool. Um. Second action after evading him, I will indeed. Uh, should I add this to my hand, or do you? You might as well take it. I just wonder if I actually have time to play it right now. Is the thing? Uh, do you have something else you want to play this round? No, no, actually, no. Then you've then you've got time to play. Yeah, okay, it. I'm gonna grab this, uh, and then I'll play it, and then I'll head down. Because I have right. the blue key. I can enter Exploring the depths. You use Osiris's key to open the basement door of the lighthouse, expecting to find a small stone, cell small stone cellar. What you find instead is a network of flooded caverns extending deep into the cliffside of Falcon Point, perhaps even below sea level. You were right to come here. Who knows what secrets the Order keeps here, away from prying eyes. If Osiris is in play, just add him to the victory display. Huh. Which is the much easier way. Of dealing with that. Loser. Uh, and then we build the map. Yes, the entire rest Just of the hit map. The button, and that builds. Ah! The map. Remember, locations in each row are connected to each other. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, shuffle the set aside copies of Taken Captive into the encounter deck. 
advanced and advanced directly to three. So that'll click over at ten. Oof. That okay. went very well. Okay. Well done. I'm glad that I'm glad that we were able to get that to not be stupid. <laughs> that's that's huge. And having this uh, right of seeking in my hand is feeling very fortunate as well. Oh, good. I mean, in play, not in hand. Yeah. In yeah. in arcane slot. Yeah, let's yeah. say. All right. All right. Uh, I will start by playing Girish Kadakia. Ah! Girish. This guy's fucking awesome, man. This guy, I'm excited. We didn't get to play him last game, uh, and that's why we lost. Um, yes, literally. <laughs> I'm I'm excited to play him. Um, so I'm just gonna punch this deep one hatchling. Um. No, I might as well go big. Yeah. Um, I'll I'll just use the Mouther and save Girish, just Ooh. in case of accidents. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So if I attack with the hatchling, I am six on one. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, minus four. Maybe I should have used Girish because uh, I don't get any of my over success effects. That's okay. It's, you got a lot of money off live that Mauser. Live and learn. Actually, yeah, I guess I, you. I, I guess it that. really. You got an auto fail, and then you got that. So really, you only got the three bucks, but. That's. I mean, that's pretty reasonable. A weapon completely paying for itself and dealing damage. Listen, I generally expect one auto fail out of my five attacks on the Mauser. So. <laughs> I expect this to only deal eight damage. I'm going to pick up this key, and then I'll use my other two actions to throw down a machete ah! and oh my God. enchant it. That's, that's why very, I needed the one resource. That is a very enchanted blade. That is... Uh... No, it's an enchanted weapon machete. Enchanted weapon. Oh, it's enchanted part. weapon machete. You're right. My bad. Yes. Once again, never playing Elena, El Elena Harper. It's just not possible. No. It can't be done. She, no one's ever her seen Her icons it are so ah! good. It's okay. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> um. How do I want to do this? I think that I have to lose an action and draw three cards. I mean, I can... I oh. can take the action and lose a card. Right, I keep forgetting that I can just give it to you. Would you I've, I've um, already picked up the key, which is the important thing. So. Oh yeah, and you've got your machete and your enchanted weapon down, so you probably don't care about the card loss. Yeah, okay. Take an action right. and then discard a card. I will take the action to move. Yeah. <laughs> and then discard a card randomly. I had to check something in the uh, in the campaign guide, but it's fine. Um, the thing I had to check, for the record, was that if so, uh, if I lose the relic that I've put in my hand, uh, it's removed from the game because that's the default thing you do oh, okay. with something that you discard. Yeah, so yeah. that's just a normal effect. What I was checking was, do we still get to add it to our deck? And uh, the answer is yes, as long as you put it in your hand at some point. It doesn't matter if it leaves play. Oh, cool. That's neat. So, uh, we got a seven of ten doom. Oh, and sorry. Um, the tide rises. A wave of cold familiarity washes over you as you see the water level starting to rise throughout the tunnels. The tide's rolling in. If you aren't quick, there won't be much left here to investigate. Luckily, you still have a way out should the tide rise too quickly. Right. Uh, locations on the same row are connected. And then, worshippers of the deep. Deep below the lighthouse is a web of tunnels filled with information pertaining to the Order's activities. You must learn what you can before escaping. Uh, so if you're at a fully flooded location at the end of the investigation, in investigation phase, either take three damage or drop down one space. Right, it's got that weird... Which can be a benefit. Which can be useful, yeah. You can stand at a fully uh, flooded location so that you get to move, right? Uh, we had some great fun in June during Iron Man where I would play shortcut on my friends to send them to a fully flooded location and then so they could down. drop down. That's really interesting. I like that. Uh, and then the objective is to resign, but we may wish to find what we came for before we leave this place. Right. Which black, the black and red, and red keys, keys are the objects we need. Okay. Okay. Oh, right. And we've got the new title tunnels as well, right? In and amongst the 
Ye oh, um... Is that a thing we were supposed to do? I'm glad you caught that exactly when you did. I mean, I mean, it w it's not like it would have ruined yeah. the scenario. We would just, we just would have noticed at some point. Hey, yeah. <laughs> uh, so encounters. Yes, encounters. Yes, that is where we are. Uh, a hazard: decrease the flood location of the nearest flood flooded, non-ocean location that can be have its flood level decreased. Then increase the flood level. Uh, so nothing can have its flood level decreased. So mm -hmm. nothing can that nothing then gets its flood level increased, right? Yeah. So surge. So that surges. Oh, a lurking deep one, which causes me to take one damage, which is going to go on uh, my dendromorphosis, which dies. <laughs> uh, and then I also get to add Grizzle to my hand. <clears throat> and you may take an action if you so desire. Um, I probably should. It's it's going to be hard for me to kill that this turn. Yeah, I can. I might... It just comes at the cost of doing the scenario stuff. Yeah, yeah, no, I think that's fine. I think that's actually fine. I'm going to, I am going to take an action, and I'm going to try to evade him with the Grizzled. Okay. Um, um, this is a weird, oh no, you have like plus billion. Yeah, again, this is the humanoid monster deep one, so this is a plus seven. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So I, that, that puts me at nine against four, which is. Yeah, that's very good. A minus three, which works. All right, uh, and I got a rolling tide, which, as we know, surges into a rotting remains, which I am very much okay with. Ooh. Watch as I commit nothing to this willpower test. And draw, okay, uh, a minus two, so I fail by one. My flood level goes up by one. Gearish takes a horror, which I do not care about. Yeah. And, and I can go first here. Yeah, sure. Oh, shit. I can't use Gearish on you. With self-centered. No! That's all right. So that's a reason to clear that. Yeah. That's um, fine. So I go to Falcon Point, and I uh, trigger the flashback. Flashback 12. Go ahead. Uh, 12, did you say? Yes. You peer up at the Falcon Point Lighthouse, but from much farther below, you are aboard Mr. Moore's fishing vessel during your voyage to Devil Reef several weeks earlier. The ship sways back and forth as angry waves thrash against its hull. Afraid it's going to be a bit rocky, the ship's captain shouts over the crashing of the tumultuous sea. Weather's been awful wild of late, strange tides and stranger winds. But still you stare up at the ominous lighthouse, its beacon a guiding light, a warning sign or both. Curious about what knowledge you might have, you ask Mr. Moore about the lighthouse. That old thing? Been there a longer than it is itself. Marsh family's kept it running as long as I remember. Osiris is keeper now. Strange fellow, that Osiris. They say the only place in town he visits is the Order of Dagon Hall by the New Church Green. He shakes his head. You wonder if there are more secrets inside that lighthouse than meets the eye. Mr. Moore seems to note your curiosity. I've heard them marshes have carved out caverns beneath the lighthouse going all the way down to sea level and beyond, he claims. Don't know if that's true, but sometimes what I'm out to see, I've seen groups of them up by the cliffside, all waving and kneeling like they're praying or something. Never really paid it much mind, but his voice grows quieter. Just thought you ought to know. You nod and thank him. If what he's saying is true, perhaps you should give this lighthouse a, a visit. You make a mental note to re research more about Falcon Point once you return to town. When your mind snaps back to the present, you recall the legwork you'd done after your expedition to Devil Reef, and the information you'd found on the vast network of tunnels beneath the lighthouse. In your conversation, or sorry, in your campaign log, under Memories Recovered, record a conversation with Mr. Moore and choose and remove one of the following chaos tokens from the chaos bag for the remainder of the campaign. The lead investigator gains two clues from the token pool. I have given you two clues. Uh, shall we go ahead and commit further to removing the cultists? I think it would be weird to switch now because we mm -hmm. would sacrifice so much consistency. Yeah. So uh, let's get rid of that fucking. Thing. Also, let's again, cultists are just going to destroy us next scenario, and they add extra doom in the finale. So ah, well. Two good reasons to get rid of them. Yes. Even if they do make the test harder, the if you fail effects are so much nicer. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, and then I'll just move twice more to get down into the sunken grotto, and I can kill this uh, this dude next turn. Oh, and he can even engage you. 
Yeah. Uh, to putting a damage onto Girish and Girish yeah. not giving a shit because he is yeah. uh, the ICPC Punjab detective extraordinaire. Indeed. All right. Um, shall I just like? Oh, this is awkward. So, do we want to spend clues here to peek at this row and well, find what out was, what's here? That's what I was wondering. The value in that is if we spot a, a location that's just useless right now, we just don't have to. Yeah, I'm going to spend waste two the clues. actions on. It. Uh, spend one of mine, I think. Oh, sure. Okay. Right, because then I you don't have to be with me another mm -hmm. time, right? Yeah. Yeah, investigators at this location. Let's just look at this one over here. All right. Shrine to Hydra. That's where the red key is, so we got to get that. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a question of... The green key. Okay. Are you prepared to do that right now, or do you want to go back with the green key? No, I, I think I, I might need to go back with the green key, because I don't think I have what it takes to get that right now. That's fair. Well, I mean, at least not this turn. <laughs> mm. But, but yeah, I think I think that's something that I I, I need some time to be able to work yeah. work that out. So it's all of the clues. Yeah, right. It's the normal way of getting the red key. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Um, shall I take a look at the rest of this floor by moving, or should I? Should I, I would just keep peeking at this floor and and see. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh let's spend two more clues. Soon you'll pick up more clues, so. Yeah, and then I'll 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 take a look at this one here. All right. The pump room. And that's what we want to know. Let's just not go there. Yet. Right. This is the one that lets you right. Yes, 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 mm -hmm. yes, yes. It lets you move where the floor So that's is. that's going to be very very important, but Yeah. Okay. Not right now. Yeah. So shall I move to this one to see what it is? I, I think so. Yeah. A... Is there a reason that didn't spawn its clues? Uh, yeah. It's a return to card. Nope, it's not. It's not. So I don't know. Anyways, uh, move, and then I will investigate it with a... Um... Yeah? Mm. I might take a dollar first. I feel like I could use some money. Ah, uh, Yes. I get. <laughs> I could like not take a dollar, and maybe move back if I don't pull a token. Mm -hmm. I did just remove a token from the bag. He yeah. did. I'm he just. Did. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna try the right of seeking. All right. Hey, minus two. There you go. See. Nice. Risks. Risky plays pay off. Uh, no one ever said that I don't have the purple key. What's the purple key again? Uh, it's not the green key, I can tell you that. <clears throat> the purple key is a deceased larva of a malformed fish. I think that might help us find out the life cycle. Nice. So. Cool. Uh, and then I will indeed scooch. Mm -hmm. Alright. I'll keep. Yep. This guy can engage me. Thanks, Girish. And I also keep hey cool, I think. Uh eight of ten doom. Frozen in fear, but that is a terror. So I get my grizzle. Hmm. I've also drawn a frozen in fear. Hey. Which is mildly annoying, but kind of okay. Yeah. Uh, hey, Gearish helps clear that, actually. So. Ooh, yeah, no, that actually is really nice. Because what are you, six against three on that? That's really good. Yeah, yeah those are good numbers. Uh, so it's going to take me two actions to fight this guy. Yeah. And then I'll probably just be moving for my last action. Um, yeah, so I, sadly, I my turn's kind of a stinker. Open anywhere way. fun for you. My turn is a big stinker. <clears throat> okay. 
unfortunately. This was a really well, poorly timed Frozen in Fear. Hmm. But it's, it is what it is. Well, I can go first. Yeah, go for it. Uh, I will enchant my weapon and machete this dude. The big advantage of enchanting is just to give me the plus four for succeed buys. Yeah. Uh, so we're swinging at nine on two. And he is Sweet. extremely dead. Ten on two. Splat. And then, um, might as well just move down right now. Hmm. What are we at? Eight doom? No, I'm a I'm a stand here and take a resource. Okay. I think that's that's actually the play. Okay. Uh, and then at the end of my turn, I have to test Frozen in Fear, and so I'll have Gearish give me plus two, and put myself. What does that put you at? Six against. Six three? against three. I'm gonna commit this take heart just to get it out of my hand. Okay. I mean, yeah, that makes me feel pretty good about failing. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> no complaints. <laughs> Uh, you know, honestly, that was better than succeeding. <laughs> that uh, was that was better than success. <laughs> okay, uh, on my turn, I will spend two actions to do a fight uh, with a spectral razor, which will be at a seven and a grizzled committed for two for three more icons for ten. Huh, that's weird. And huh. I've heard of this watcher from another dimension. Uh... Oh, I see how it is. All right. Uh, I think I will scooch down a location, though. Uh, okay. Because I did a fight and then a move. Yes, I'm allowed to do that. I am permitted to do that. Yeah. Um, are the... Th these are all connected as well, right? Like, are these all uh, connected? These are actually one by one connected. Right. These are one by one. Yes. Okay. Okay. And what are the weird connections on these ones? What... What am I missing? The, the T, the third location that you're like, what the hell is that? Right. Um, that's the jail. It's not in play right now. That's yes, the jail. That's yeah. the jail. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, my turn ends. It's frozen in fear. I commit a last chance to it to try and get rid of oh, yeah. Which is up by a considerable amount. And it's hell gone. yeah. <clears throat> and then... Huh. So it goes. Yeah, this is this is alright. Uh nine of ten doom and encounters. Nurse maid. I do get to add that grizzle to my hand. You do. Um and Aloof retaliate three two two. While well, it's unengaged, each other deep one enemy at its location or connecting locations gets plus one fight, plus one evade. After it engages, you draw the top card of the encounter deck. That card loses surge. Okay. Cool. And that spawned a deep one at your location. Yes. So I can also use my wave worn idol and run away. Um, I don't have a window through no, which to use I... this, do I? No, we should have used that last round. And I thought about it, and I was like, no, it's fine. We can just use it before Pax takes an action. I I probably don't mind... <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> I feel like... I'm, I'm very tempted to take a resource right now just to play something. If if that's useful, that's, like, fine to do. But also, I feel like it's not that much more useful than just moving and getting some exploration done. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think I think I'll just take a move. I, I think um, any of it's good. I'm trying to think where we know that this is the pump and we know that this is the Hydra thing. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think in my head if it's useful to know what these ones are so that we know if these get flooded that we can drop into them. Does that, does that make more sense? It does. To, to be uh, more is, useful than knowing this one? It is tough to flood these rooms, <clears throat> I would say. Right, yeah, that's fair. I um, wouldn't rely on that. Still, still I think... I almost I th wonder I th if it's worth running, like to, the running to the bottom first before things start to fill up. 
Yeah, I'm, that does make sense because that's going to be happening really soon, isn't it? Yeah, um, if you're in a position to kind of clear out the nasty stuff. That's probably a good idea. No, but that is probably a good idea. So I'll take a move down to the, the bottom sunken grotto. Right. <clears throat> uh, my card is a hideous lullaby. If there are no deep ones in play, it gains surge. Uh, but we do have one. So I'm testing Willpower X, where X is that enemy's fight value. Willpower 3. If I fail, take 2 Horror. Um, okay, I think this is where I commit the headdress. Yeah, okay. Uh, and that's just a 6 on 3 test, then. Nice. And that succeeds. The headdress leaves the game. We're still going to count it uh, for our purposes, but... It's gone. It's spent. Uh, and I get a sig case draw. And I've hit both my weaknesses already. So Easy. Okay. Um, I'll just... I'll spend these clues now. Yeah, do that before. And again, ends, does it even. really... Do, like, it, do, it doesn't really matter too no, much. It doesn't. So I'll take a look at this one over here. This is the right. nursery. Uh, purple key. And yeah, uh, that would be very good to clear before the thing happens. Yep. Yep. Okay, that's good to know. Um, uh, before we draw that encounter card to, that puts them back in. Yes, that is. that's right. That's right. Um, do you care to go first? You might as well go first. Okay, so I'm going to just go do that now. Uh, first action. Uh, control the purple key, compare it to the oversized eggs littering the flooded chamber, and flashback. I will be right back while you do that. 13, yeah, sure. You speak with one of the many sailors who frequent a ramshackle tavern by the docks of Innsmouth, somewhere in the southern, southeastern slums of the decrepit seaport. He's found his own little corner of the pub to, in which to hide and drown himself in alcohol. So much the better, you'd prefer to keep your investigation quiet. You jot down notes as the drunken man rambles on about the creatures he's seen swimming off the coast and prowling around the reefs. Deep ones, he names them. Cut one of my net once. He blabbers through slurred speech. She and her eggs, that's right, her eggs bigger than your fist and squirming and wriggling too. Absorbed in the ritual of telling a tale for his fellow sailors, he elaborates. She had one of them in her arms. Tiny little devil with bulging, hateful eyes. Couldn't stand the sight of it. I threw the net over as soon as I realized what I'd caught and came right back here. If I'd had my way, I'd never sail again. You mull this new information over in your head. If this man speaks the truth, these creatures seem to have a life cycle similar to that of a fish. But then, what is the purpose of the uncanny hybrid creatures you've seen skulking about the town? Are they but figments of your frightened imagination? Or is there a much more sinister part of this life cycle that you are missing? In your campaign log, under Memories Recovered, record the life cycle of a deep one. Choose and remove one of the following chaos tokens from the chaos bag the remainder of the campaign. I return. What's happened? Tablet or an elder thing. Hmm. Uh, other thing's a bigger mo negative modifier, right? It's a big negative, and uh, it it can have nasty effects when okay, random remove, things suddenly engage. Let's remove the uh, elder thing then. And this is the life cycle of a deep one. Memory. Yes. Nice. Yes. Um. Okay. So second action, I will. I think now I just move to one of these randomly, right? Yeah, see what you find. Underground cabin. Okay, that's lovely to have at the start, or at the bottom. Uh, it is fully flooded. And this is only... Oh, this is at the end of the investigation phase. So mm -hmm. I, if I don't get out of here, I, I start drowning, right? Yes. Uh, and if you move to here, there is a 1 in 4 chance you will hit the other uh, underwater cavern. Yes, and so... Which, I don't know if you're comfortable with that. Uh, no, not particularly. Because that would basically guaranteed kill Madame. Shouldn't Madame have a damage on her? I thought I'd put a damage on her at one point. Uh, I don't know. I feel like the big damage you took was... Uh... That guy engaged me and did, dealt a damage to me. The guy that ah, killed yes. last round. Yes. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I kind of hate the idea of... <laughs> right, like the the awakened mandal could just like shove me back from one flooded location to another. 
Yeah, which <laughs> is uh, funny, but not helpful. Yeah. Um, so I think I think for now, I just uh, scooch back to the sunken grotto. I don't. That's, that's really... the safe play, and I think it's reasonable. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Uh, so I want to end my turn here. Let me tell you. Okay. And yeah, I definitely want to end my turn here. And I kind of just want to sit here and prepare. <laughs> I, did, I didn't see the uh, flavor text on this. Well, that's well, certainly not a seller. <laughs> yeah, well, well, that's certainly not a seller. <clears throat> oh, this uh, should also be uh, flooded by one, and that might have actually changed my opinion, right? Oh, oh, yeah. Because then I can wake in mantle. Yeah, disaster, okay. You can escape. No, no, yeah, no. That, I think that. that's definitely that. a, good, a good choice. Hey. Okay, so that sucks. Uh, f that sucks. Yeah, that's uh. Well, we. The problem is it's it's as far as possible from the resign location, and it's right. on the bottom, which is the area that fills up fastest. Yes, yes, right, right, right. So yeah, we'll just have to, to crush a few intellect tests or crush a few agility tests. Yeah, that's tricky. Okay. In this part, yeah. I mean, it's doable, but yeah, it's tricky. Uh, okay, my turn. Um, well, I'm going to start off by playing our friend Greta. Level three. Ah. And I think... There's no single card that's good enough for that. So I think I just take two actions to discard self-centered here. Yeah. Uh, and then I have to test Frozen in Fear. I will once again exhaust Girish and test this up by three. And it's just it just has to succeed at some point. Um, like right now. Very strong has to. So he <laughs> can heal one damage and I'll be happy. Nice. All right. A bit um, of a shame. Yeah. The deck empties. Track shoes aren't good in a lot of this campaign, but they are pretty cool in this scenario. Yeah, I know. That's the that was me <laughs> thinking about taking a buck here. Yeah. Um, but like, <laughs> I don't actually have that much in the way of. Yeah. Well, and you got the mantle, so you can zoom. Yeah, exactly. I I was just kind of like, ah, I don't know. I don't I don't know that I actually need that. Okay. Okay. Um uh we become advanced, right? Uh I'm going to upkeep, but yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, baby. Oh, I'm happy. Locked in. I'll let you read that while I do the stuff. Familiar heavy breathing echoes through the slick rocks of the caverns and the stone walls of the lighthouse. You duck behind some cover as you hear footsteps approaching. Then comes the loud creaking and slamming of a heavy metal door, followed by a telltale click that stops your de head, your, your heart dead. Someone has sealed the exit to the lighthouse above. Search all out-of-play areas for Osiris Marsh and spawn him in the sunken grotto upper depths. Remove each Falcon Point location from the game or add them to the victory display if they have a victory X and no clues on them. Move each enemy and investigator at those locations to Sunken Grotto Upper Depths. Each other card at those locations is discarded. Find the four bottommost locations that can have their flood levels increase and increase each of their flood levels. Your flood level has increased. Ah! That's fine. Um, and as such, I will take a Minus bonus one. action. Play my violin. Oh God, I hope I don't 
regret that. No, I think that's good. I'm not, like, as far away from a dendromorphosis as possible, but, like, mm. I'll get a little bit of time. Mm. Yeah. And I think it's good for this turn. Yeah. i uh, just draw the Elder Sign this turn, so you don't have to shuffle it back yeah. in. Yeah, look at that. Uh, the crash of waves on the shoreline echoes through the porous tunnels underneath the lighthouse. Your pulse pounds in your ears as you struggle to stay ahead of the water. Oceros gets plus two health for a total of ten. Oof. He can still capture if he attacks, uh, but I think I can kill him. Uh, the scenario will not end when the agenda advances, but the tide will continue to rise. Three doom. Okay. Well, this is actually a, what we call a VP. That's actually hilarious. Um, okay. So. It's so much better you than me. I failed that. <laughs> Where is holding cell? Does that only come into play when it tell, this tells us to do it? Yeah, so you are captured. So we pull the captured story card. Right. Um, you're bound and dragged deep underground, then thrown into a sealed prison cell surrounded on all sides by dripping stone walls. Your cries fall on deaf ears as your captor's footsteps fade into the distance. Uh, so everything in your hands... Slo oh, <laughs> fuck. Your hands slots go back. That's uh, oh, uh, I... I mm, yeah, yeah, well, okay, but... <laughs> yeah, fair. fair. <laughs> uh, we turn your card sideways to indicate you're captured. You cannot move, fight, or be engaged. Uh, the holding cells goes into play. It's not on any existing row or column, but it's connected to the central pillar gotcha. through its icons. Um, anyone who is captured gets put on their side. Their hands go back. Their assets go back to their hands. And they go here. Okay, cool. Uh, and you drop your keys because of that effect. Ah! Uh, so you can do a test to break fee free, or you can collect the yellow key. Gotcha. To free yourself. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, no, that's uh, that's pretty good. Pretty convenient timing. Saved you a couple of move actions, too. <laughs> uh, and Oceros got worth his salt, so he's going to hit like an absolute truck if he lasts till the Mythos phase. Or until the enemy phase. We'll see. So, the name of the game is "Stop Him from Lasting Until the." Yeah, I was just about to say, can we can we make it so that don't? <laughs> uh, as long as as long as bad don't happen, yes, yeah. yes. Avoid bad. As long as bad don't happen. Um. I can get one clue for killing him. I mean, I don't really only need one. you to because of the yeah. seeking, right? Exactly. Well, um, no, but I guess, I mean, technically the right of seeking is not that great because, like, I could just whiff my whole turn instantly. Yeah. So. Yeah. <sighs> so I, I can go first and, and do the thing that will probably kill him. Okay, just do that. I think that's fine. Okay. Uh, so we'll start out with an enchanted machete swing. Which okay. is a uh, six plus four is ten on four attack. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, yeah, turn starts and I'll throw out guard dog. Yeah. Uh, the big big effect of guard dog here is uh, the margin where if I miss a two damage attack, uh, the retaliate means I can actually still kill Osiris. Ooh, yeah, okay. Ooh, the Retaliate is fucking nasty, though, right? Uh, the Retaliate is fucking nasty. It is a 3-3 three, three hit, which I can I can handle. Right. But, <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is a 11, 10, 10, 10 on 4 attack. Um, so that was a minus 3, so that's an over success for a card. And it does three damage. So then, action two, I think, is a regular swing with the machete. Right. 
Uh, once I add Girish to this deck and a Vicious Blow. This is a 9 on 4 attack. Oh um, my god. Actually, this is just a Girish attack for 8 on 4. This is just Girish and the Machete. Uh, oh, you put a curse in there. Let's let's add the vicious blow. Nine on four. Oh. I was trying to hedge around that. It didn't work. So that's a disaster. Um, fun fact: that's two auto fails on Girish. Girish, um, cut it out, man. On paper, this is a great card that is not paying off here. So we're taking three and three as a result of that. Oh god, this is so bad. Uh so one damage on the guard dog does a damage back to Oceros. Might as well do two more damage to Girish. And then three horror is one to Girish, one to Greta, one to me. And then for a final action, uh, I'll play and these these do discard, thankfully. Yes, I was going to say, to those that. definitely go away, right? Yeah. Uh, and then for a final action, I'll add three curses and do a Reastrad attack. Because um, this is the thing to do it on, even though I'm not going to kill him. Yeah. Uh, yep. Uh, and so this is a plus three, so four, five, six, seven, eight on four. Three. And that's a zero. So four damage there. But I will be one damage short. Okay. That's too bad. I mean, so realistically, if you can get out, then if you can get out and do one damage to him, then he just dies in the enemy phase. If you can't, then I just get captured, and my next turn I will free myself, walk out, and kill him. The th I don't think there's a way for me... Uh, there also isn't a way, yeah. Because I need an action... Like, if I... I need an yeah. action to get enough clues to get the yellow key. Yeah. Yeah, so that's And fine. I don't do... think I pass that otherwise. It's too... Yeah, do, that's too... Do your mind. stuff normally. Okay. Um... I will. Uh, ooh, which of these is better? A. Uh, that's annoying. <clears throat> that violin bouncing the ham is very annoying. Yeah. I think that. I think that getting the brand out is better. I don't know. Uh, and then I'll take a buck from Madame. Sure. Uh, and then I'll do the right of seeking. I don't mind losing yep. one action for this, but I don't want to lose two actions for it. So it's seven against three. Mm -hmm. And I'll commit my violin just in case. That's probably wise since some idiot pops. just put a ton of curses oh. into the. <sighs> <laughs> Grab those keys and then last action I'll, I'll free myself. Okay. I think. Yeah. Uh. Enemy phase, the nursemaid does nothing, but Osiris will hit me for one and one. Uh, so I just do one on the guard dog, one to me. Um, good news is I no longer have to fight Osiris. I can just chuck the guard dog at him to finish. That's nice. Uh, and we upkeep. Put horror onto Madame, and I reshuffle. Oh, and Osiris captures me. Well. Oh! That's uh, annoying. Oh. This Ooh, gets discarded, that's, doesn't it? Yeah, that is a little stinky, isn't it? That's how it goes. I mean, I guess, like, it's it's kind of here it's, for it's, him. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. And I do get five bullets back, so. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <clears throat> um, One of three doom and encounters. Uh, this this can't. I place Pearl a key card. here. 
Okay. Right? Yeah. Choose a location with at least one investigator. Yep. So it has yep. to be here. And then it surges. And, and then the surge surges. will have peril. Oh, Christ. Is he a deep one? A four. Four? Yeah, but this is fine. I don't even mind whiffing this if I, if I do. Yeah. Because I've got a load of... Uh... Uh, I fail, so I take two horror, which is fine. Because uh, it goes into plucky anyways. And... Uh... This location is yep. not flooded, so I don't take a damage. Yep. Nice. Yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, oh, no. I wish I... you had dropped the yellow key, because then I could pick it up and free myself, and you wouldn't have to spend an action on it. Oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. Oh, well. Uh, nope. Take captive. Test agility four. If you fail, you are... Ca oh, well. Oh, no. I'll play you handle this one. <laughs> you fucking rat. Get out of here. Oh uh, I fail. My location's flooded. Is he still engaged uh, with you when you get captured? Uh, no, sorry. He is okay. He is left okay. behind here. Okay. Uh, so I remain captured. I drop my white key. Yeah. So uh, I was going to say this means I'm begging you to, to test, to pick up, or to use your yellow key to test out. But I, I can actually just use Gearish. Because that'll be my only test this turn. Uh, to free myself and be up by four, and that probably works. Probably. Well, I mean, why don't you save Girish for fighting him? Can you do that? Ah, uh, because I'm not do I'm not taking a fight action this round. I'm gonna guard dog him. Ah, uh, yes. And because this is an after attacks effect, he is actually dead before he can send me to the capture. Again. Ha ha, loser. It's it's like guard dogging a uh, pit viper, okay. except I don't get poisoned. That's or, fine sorry. then. That's fine. Uh, I don't get vengeance, I should say. I, I don't I don't see any reason you shouldn't uh, you shouldn't just try that then yourself. Yeah. Uh yeah, cool. Um Oh yeah, he would there. already be on him. <laughs> yeah. Alright, uh so I'll gearish this and that makes me a uh, seven uh Four, five, six, seven on three to break out. And I didn't start drawing my curses, so that's nice. Uh, LCC gives me a draw. And he heals. Girish gets to heal a horror. Oh, by the way, I just want to point this out. Yeah. Imagine that if I didn't lose my fucking violin. That goes back to your hand and then immediately. Oh, oh, yeah, you would have hit that. I would have hit this anyways. Anyways. So. Yeah. Oh, that hurts. Thanks, but, yeah. Dandro. Thanks, Dandro. Uh, so that was one action. My second action is going to have to be to move. Or my, my last action is going to have to be to move. So second action is I'll take a, a resource and then I'll just... Scoop. Walk out here, unless. Uh, what do you think you're doing with your turn? Uh, exploring this middle area. Okay. Um, I think I walk to here, and the reason is if you end on a spot with a clue, I'll just pick it up oh. with Greta. Yeah, and I'm not like saying that. you have to engineer that. I'm just saying that that, that we can then becomes something on the table. Yeah. Okay. No, I like that. Okay. Yeah, no, that's cool. Okay. Uh, I mean, I may, I may as well pick this key up, right? Yeah. There's no key, scaling key stuff in this scenario. No, and in fact, it's a dummy key, kind of. If something made you drop one, which I don't know if yeah. that exists. So but... I move to here, uh, and then I'll spend two clues to reveal this... I'm just trying to think. We didn't. We didn't do this, right? I ended up coming we down didn't, instead. We didn't okay. any of them. So I'll take a look at this one here, the sunken okay. archives. So that will be fully flooded. So we have to reveal it at some point, so that we can work at unflooding it. Right. Yes. Via yes. Yes. Probably the moon room. Um. But we also can't 
can't get stuff off of it right now. So. Yeah, okay. But I think I think it's okay for me to review that. Is... And... Yeah. Or do I reveal another one then? Oh, no, but that's fully flooded, right? So then it's I'd fully take flooded. Or I'd move down to the nursery. Yeah. Which is not helpful, I don't think. So I think if you end here. Yeah. And it's fully flooded. You drop down. Yes, and then this I is can an okay spot to drop move into. Back can, up into these yeah. ones. Yeah. Okay. No. No. That, that's that's good. So I'll move here to reveal this one, and then I'll scooch back to this one. Last action. There we go. There it is. Hey. Enemy face. Uh, does he have a prey? Seriously. No, but I'm closer. Okay, cool. He he has to come through me. Um, flooded. Oh, are you thinking of moving? Or sorry, why? why no, did you uh, the me? reason I was asking is because while moving, deep one investigators and deep one enemies treat this uh, as if it was connected to every flooded cave location. Oh, so yeah. it's not actually connected to this one. None. I was I was just wondering if he had a prey that prefer mm -hmm. me that he might have no. to but that's not the case no he just comes to me uh he hits my guard dog he defeats my guard dog he, he is defeats defeating him. himself that'll teach him big idiot moment he is gone thank goodness man almost every scenario i take an auto fail against him when he's got worth his salt yeah like, just it just happens. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then it's upkeep. Uh, oh, um, and there is no value in me getting clues here. That's correct. No, none at all. That is correct. Yep. All right. Um, let's get rid of some stuff. At a crossroads. Would you like to take and... an action and then discard a card randomly from your hand? Uh, that seems like a good thing here. Um, especially if my action is play machete. <laughs> <laughs> that seems very good. Um, yeah, because I'm at hand limit anyways, so we're just going to hope I don't hit the crucial, crucial card. That's fine. That's fine. That wasn't losing enchant weapons, so it's good. Nice. Love uh, <laughs> and now I don't have to discard. <clears throat> uh, so we go to two of three doom. And encounters. Deep one hatchling. Either lose an action or it attacks you. Uh, I think it attacks me. Um... Yeah, I think so. After your locations flip, or after a deep one enemy spawns, what happens first? The surge or the wave worn item? Uh, this. Okay, I am going to just kill this idiot, I think. Okay, uh, that will make the deep one nursemaid move to you and lose a lurf. Lose a loof. Ooh. I don't know if you're good with that. Um, like, I mean, that's that's potentially fine. I feel, uh, actually, I, just... I feel like that's okay. I feel yeah. like I can handle that. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm still gonna, yeah, I'm gonna use this action to brand this guy. Yeah. Um, uh, I gonna... realize now that the Deep One Nursemaid has been giving plus ones to everything. That hasn't actually mattered. That's but... correct. Because the only thing that you failed was, um, I was an auto fail. Yeah. Oh, the, so early, the only thing you didn't completely crush was an auto fail. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but this guy does have two. Yes, that that yeah. is worth that is worth pointing out. Um, so I'll be at six against two. Uh, which uh, I actually and sorry, did you, you took the horror from this, right? Uh, yes. yes, yes, it went on the wave. Yes, title. you chose to get attacked. Yeah. yeah. Um. Oh, and I also meant to drop down, uh, which means uh, this guy is not. That's correct. Which means uh, this guy fact, is, he is not. One. So he's one, so I'm six against one. Yes. Okay. That's very good. That's better. This is very good, then. This yeah, is a very good kill. I'm happy with that. 
minus one. Cool. So he's dead. I spend one charge on it. Uh, and then he searches. Hideous Lullaby. Which, again, I'm okay with just whiffing this, I think. Because I don't mind killing off, like, Madame and my Plucky so yeah. much. That's not a big deal. Um, so, Maybe five I'll against... Pass. Five against three? Hey, look at that. Maybe you'll pass. Maybe you'll pass. And I have a lurking deep one who engages me for damage on... Uh, I think Greta starts taking it at this point. Yep. Cause... Oh, did you use Greta to grab a glue? Ever? I did not, because I can't discover from this sunken archives. Right, and you, you kind of don't need them. Like, the only thing that Clues does right now is get us a victory or reveal uh, this, right? This spot is very good, but yeah, we don't have it, so... Yeah. Okay. Um... So... If I go now... I could actually... If I take the attack of opportunity... I could grab the key here. Okay. Or, at the very least, get the two clues. Now, the problem with that is, and it, not necessarily a problem, the consideration with that is then I'm the one going up to here to lower the shroud. Yeah, that, that kind of is a key that I want, right? Yeah. Um, which just means you're probably the one who has to start working on this. Alternatively, I can't, like, it would take my turn to kill this guy and get here, but I actually have a lot of stuff to start running the pump. Oh, yeah, like right, because you've just been I have a lot of pump your... icons. Yeah, 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 no, that's, that's fair, and you've got Gret in play, and you've got Garish, Garish. as well. So maybe you take the time to do this, and I'm making my way to the pump. Yeah, I did. To just go ham I mean, that works. on it. So... Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's just the babies that, that cost this guy to move. Mm -hmm. I was... <laughs> those, those two are such a cute little interaction. I always it's forget... such a cool interaction. I always forget who yeah, does... Yeah, where is which, the text? Yeah. Which one has the text again? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I can go first here. Yeah. Sure. Um, all right. Uh, I'll I'll use Girish and attack with the machete. So this is a four, five, six, seven, eight on two attack. Let's burn a curse. Or not. Um, eight on three. Yeah. This is a weird question of if I'm actually using the cigarette case. And I, I think the answer is no. I think I need to keep what I have in my hand for the most part. And yeah. Uh, so I'll take a move action and a move action. Yeah. Right. So if you succeed, you're moving water around, which is fine. Uh, and if you over succeed, you're just pumping water out of one space. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Which is important because otherwise we're flooding, like yeah. these or something. And the, you know, we are every time this advances, we are adding, we are net the flood increasing rises. the amount of water. So, so we do need to, yeah, be clearing it or something. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's okay. me. Uh, I killed the enemy and I, I got out. Okay. Um, I'll use the mantle to shove over one. Um. Is that better than just walk and... I don't know. Uh, one, two, or I, boom, yeah, two. Works out the same. Uh, yeah, no, it's the same, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, no. No, this is better. Use this to move here. Oh, no, but then it's still one action to do yeah. this. Yeah, whatever. I don't use the mantle this way. Right? Uh, oh, two clues can be discovered from this location for round. Fuck, okay. <laughs> right. 
<laughs> oh, right. And there's four clues. So mm. yeah. Okay. That's annoying. Um, piss. Uh, and then I'll just I'll just write a seeking last action yeah. I suppose, which is kind of yeah, stinky that works out. because I don't that works have. Out. Uh, yeah. Hey, never punished. Get rid of that curse. Two clues. Okay. All right. It's working. It's it's happening. We're we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Um, and then I discard a bunch yeah. of cards from my hand. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have to discard one as well. I think it's one of the Mausers. We add a Doom. And we're going to flip this Terror at Falcon Point that we haven't seen before. Yes. Full Tide. Uh, the Tide continues to rise. Find the four bottommost locations that can have their flood levels increase. Increase each of their flood levels. So we're going to increase the very bottom. Yeah. And, oh, God. Oh, God. There's so much water. And yours, and here, and uh, might as well be there. Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, then... We are being hunted. If there's at least one copy of Deep One Grappler set aside, spawn one of them. Spawns at the nearest fully flooded location. If there are no such locations in play, it gains Surge. Uh, I guess that's nearest to you. Probably, Because you're yeah. the lead. Yeah. Hunter, while not engaged, it can only enter fully flooded locations. So it can't hunt onto you if you're not fully flooded. Uh, while moving, it treats all fully flooded locations after they're connected. Forced after it engages you, move to the location directly below yours. Ugh. Nasty. Terrifying. Yuck. Oh, that's he'll stay there for now dinks. at least, but for a little bit, not for long though. And then flip this back over and keep playing. The the grab you down thing is terrifying. Yeah, that sucks. But okay. Look how much cuter he is than the rest of them. He is. Ugh, fuck off. <laughs> Okay. Oh. I could take a direct damage to get rid of this. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, did you take an action because your flood level increased? I did not. Would you like to do that? Yes. It's too bad you can't. I'd like to play over this right of seeking with a right of seeking. Oh. That works. And then I will draw my encounter card. And you will draw a card. I, I shuffled it back in. Rotting remains. Uh, yeah, no, that's about... That's fine. That's not a big deal. Uh, five against three. A minus three. So one horror, one damage. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. I take a dollar from a demo branch, and then a demo branch. That's okay. shit. Deep one hatchling. Either there's an action or it attacks you. Uh, I'm happy to have it just hit me here. And it'll surge into... Occultation, place a doom. That's annoying. That's the other one. Okay, that had to happen at some point. Yes. Um. Okay. Uh, kind of asking the same question again that I just asked. Um. Should I just handle this? Uh. I could get, I could get the two clues from here, uh, or oh. I could stand and run the pump. Right. I Maybe guess. Maybe I just keep standing. And run the pump. <laughs> Uh, can you not do this until it's not flooded at all? That's correct. Ugh, that's annoying. Maybe you run the and pump so that I can go do that really quick. That's the thing, is if I 
at the very least, if I get one off of this, then the grappler can't come in and drag you down. Yeah, that's true. So yeah, let's let's go for that. So, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll machete the deep one hatchling at six on one to start with. Yeah. Uh, that's a minus one, so I get the sig case draw out of it, which is pretty good. Uh, and there is no limit on how many times I do this per round. Right. And I can't increase my location's flood level by failing, which is nice. And if I draw a minus four and fail, I can choose to move the deep one grappler as the nearest ready unengaged enemy and then just can't move that's right um it's a lot of cool considerations all right um yeah okay uh, well, let's run the pump. And might as well use Girish on this, putting me at 3, 4, 5, 6 on 2. And I'll commit an evidence to go to 8 on 2. Nice. Oh, yeah. And that might actually go off for me. Yep, that went off. Nice. Wow. That's actually... Oh, that's that's a good draw. Uh, Girish can heal a horror. So is that I removing a flood two. from... I guess... Uh, and I succeed. So choose two locations. Uh, but if you over-succeed, just choose one location and decrease its flood level. Okay. Uh, should I use the Awakened Mantle to scoot there right now? That would be a great choice. Okay. That's what I was thinking. I wasn't 100% sure, but... No, that's... Uh... That's weird, because you still need this key. Uh... I guess you don't strictly need this key if we're prepared to beat the that, high difficulty. That's what I was wondering, right? Um, yeah. And I feel and we like uh, we're at a point in this scenario where that's a bit easier to do, if necessary. I, I think that's true. Um, but yeah, I, I think that's the way to go about it. Uh, okay. So. Uh, oh, I killed the, the deep one first action. Uh, so then last action, I will do the test again, and this time I commit Glory and Mitch Brown nice. for an 8 on 2 again. And that's a minus 3, so that's an over success, so I will just unflood your location. Never... Punished. <laughs> I sure would like to get some curses out, but for now, uh, yeah, it is. For now, is. that's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, so that is me. I'm I'm realizing I'm a silly person, um, but uh, mm -hmm. I'll I'll just I'll just eat it. I should have let the Dendromorphosis yeah. die instead of Madame, but I'll take a damage can... for this. Uh, I see. I'm going to put a key ring into play and then investigate with the key ring. Yeah. Which is going to succeed. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's not flooded. Whoops. Not flooded. So I get two clues. And then I get the black key. Which is a... Map of the depths beneath Devil Reef. Cool. Um... And then last action. I guess I just probably head to the stairs, eh? I'm wondering... Probably. Uh... So, the only thing about... Oh. Um... Nope, that's fine. I was worried about a deep one assault, but the grappler can't move to you if you're on the stairs because it's not fully flooded. Right. The only other thing that I'm worried about a little bit is anything that, like, flood, f floods the location I'm at, right? That's really the only thing. Yeah, and, and if that that's happens, not something then that... 
that you get a, a turn. terminal card and b you can idle yeah. idle your way out of there yeah okay so i'll move to the uh to the sunken grotto Bam. cool okay two or three okay. doom Hey, look at that. Hey, hey! Uh, disengage from each deep one enemy at your location. Each deep one enemy at your location and each connecting location engages you. If no enemies engage you from this effect, search the... Blah, blah, blah. So he engages me, which does draw an extra card, but it loses surge. Hmm. Kind of a funny thing to have drawn. Uh, it does make it a four fight. That's okay. We'll get there. Okay. Uh, Kiss of Brine. Uh, I think I just roll this. Yeah, how important are resources and draw this turn? I mean, the cards are nice. I just don't... <laughs> you don't want to put too much into it. Commit. I don't have a good commit. Um, oh, that's and funny. I'm already five on... I'm five on two, so. Yeah. Um, yep. Hey, no punish. No punish, never punish. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, okay. Baby. So, uh, what is the game going to do at the end of, or at the start of next round? Is it's going to increase the flood level of four locations? Is it going to fully flood this one, or is it going to do four? Is it four different locations? It's four different locations. Okay, so it doesn't uh, do so this I one twice. Okay. Think I just need to get I, like, out of here, right? Yeah. Uh there is Oh wait. <laughs> there is a possibility of like not unflooding this so that it can be unflooded easier so we unflooded. don't have to unflood it as many times once it once I everything else is flooded. Just as soon Un like I, the point I, is I'm that kind of stalling for, I'm kind of stalling if I don't unflood it. So, yeah, like unflooding this makes it so that one of these ones doesn't flood, mm -hmm. right? Is that kind of what you're thinking? Yeah. Uh, should I go first to make sure I can get this guy off of me? Oh, also, um, a, a deep one spawned on me. Oh yeah, you're gonna take a fight action. Um, what's this game? Uh, I'm going to take a fight action. Uh, oh. Spectral yeah, person. that's a really good fight action here. Uh, so, seven against four. Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll get there. Yeah. Um, no. What else are you going to use it for? Oh, yeah, right. It's, space. it's only one icon for anything else. Yeah. Okay. I'll okay. Take it. You can stay just right there, Mr. Dendromorphosis. Does this go? Does everything? God, I always fucking yeah. forget this. Yeah, everything. Everything. After the test ends, which is when all of that has been dealt with. Mm -hmm. I actually okay. remember to shuffle it. Um, okay, so now it's less important for me to to go first, I guess. Yeah. To make um, sure that I can get... So, I'm just like, move, move, try. That's all I really have right now. Yeah, I think so. Which is fine. I don't see yeah, any I reason... Yeah, I mean, if, if you succeed at that, you get the last key. Yeah, so... so move, move. Uh, the red key. Oh, there's four clues there. Okay. Right, four that's clues. Oh, uh, that's okay. Uh, move, move, try. So, right of seeking. I am only at seven against five, which okay. is actually kind of poopy. Um, I uh, kind of wish I could help you here, but I'm 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 actually fine with this. I think. What? Yeah. yeah, never punished. Simply don't draw curses is the mm -hmm. correct strategy for this good, scenario good after landing a real strat. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, hear me out. What? 
what does this what does this world look like if I set my location up to be fully flooded at the end of next round so that this guy moves you so that yeah at the at the end of my next turn so uh, uh if I do this right with redistributions nope there's no way to guarantee it there's no way to guarantee it. There is there is a really cool world where at the end of my next turn I drop to here. This guy grabs me and I drop to here. Yeah. But I actually can't make that happen. Like if I can make it happen, I'll make it happen. But but it I could not it. happen. I I can't force it, so I'm not going to yeah. bother with it. I'd much rather just be clearing out the moon room. Yeah. Entirely. That's fair. Um. He can move to any flooded location, but he can only go to fully flooded. So that's that's fine. That's all good. So, uh, right. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, nothing. Sorry. Just while not engaged, he can only enter fully flooded locations. So yes. Weird. It I it's to prevent that weird thing where like he disengages when you walk somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah, no that makes sense. Yeah, okay. Um he's not even that hard to kill. No, he's not even that 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 tough. He to just me. the the drag down is uh terrifying. The dragging down effect is is terrifying if it goes off. Um, oh, I really don't want to fully flood my location because if I do via the agenda advancing um, then a deep one grappler will engage me and will actually, the two of them will combo and pull me down. So I really don't want to do the thing I was thinking about doing. So instead uh, I'm going to run the pump with Gearish. And that puts me at three, four, five, six on two. Uh, this seems like a good time to commit Greta to the test. Uh, for eight on two. Oh, yeah. And draw minus one. So I can decrease one levels, one place's flood level by one. And that will be the moon room. Uh, and I will do the test again, this time committing. Did you heal Gearish? Uh, I didn't, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. This time committing a Faustian and a Faustian and a Gearish. Or a total... I thought I was going to have to... Or going to be in a position to play second Gearish <laughs> when first Gearish died. And then I started passing the tests, and yeah. holy shit. Yeah, he's, he's an invincible boy. <laughs> he just heals himself like crazy. This man uh, doesn't so this die. is a seven on two and with a minus one that will just fully unflood man Over. it just occurred to me so like <laughs> it's a very very brief aside I am the kind of person that looks at galvanize and is always like how can I squeeze every last little tiny bit of value out of a galvanize oh. And yeah. making it, making the ready be a plus two to any skill tests, and also potentially a heal on this guy, seems yeah. really good. That's very good. I have to try that sometime. <laughs> that's that's cool yeah. as hell. Uh, and I'll throw down uh, enchant weapon as my last action. <laughs> so right now the game is going to increase the flood level of one two, three, four locations. And that's fine because we're going to pump out the moon room and then try to get out. Actually, the fact that you got that pumped successfully twice is, like, really good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very pleased with that. Yeah. That was really good. Okay. Uh, keep... At a crossroads! The hell is this, man? Uh... 
I might actually lose an action and draw three cards, because I have, like, dog shit for helping me with this Rite of Seeking. That's fair. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do that. Yeah. Yep, okay. Nope, that was worth. That was, like, intensely Good. worth. I'm Good. super happy with that. <laughs> uh, so we hit three Doom, so we increase the flood level of four locations, which is one, two, three. And then this one, yeah, okay. Four. Uh, and then... Uh, we spawn a deep one grappler following its spawn instruction. Uh, so that goes at the nearest fully flooded, which is there. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, That's okay. And then encounter. And then encounters. Omen. Oh, man. Terror. Uh, Ooh, that's a terror, Pax. Five against three. Oh, yeah, but I just... Didn't I just put yeah, that back into you, my deck? You did. did. Um, but that's okay. Five against three? After you enter a flip... I mean, yeah, whatever, right? Yeah, whatever. Yes! Yes! yes. Never... Oops, what the hell am I doing? Never punished! <laughs> Never punished! Uh... Call of... I think this is good. <laughs> no way! Uh, I feel very strongly that this is good. That's hilarious! Uh, oh, Worship's because of the... Or the agenda fires at the end of the investigation phase, so Call of the Sea would trigger first. Ah. Uh, which is just something to consider. Um, so it moved... Oh, so if it moved you to a flooded location, you could then... Force. Oh, but this guy's already going to drag you down one, right? Yeah. Yeah, so, so like, if I ended here... So... Uh, Call of the Sea drags me to here. The Grappler engages me and drags me to here. And then you don't have to And then at the move. end of the investigation phase, I take three. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, I, um... At the end of the next enemy phase, is this guy going to hunt to here because it's closer he to is, us? He is, and they will... Okay. Pop up and stand here. Okay. 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 Um, not the end of the world necessarily. So, okay, what do we have to do to get out? I need to get this. You need to get that. Yes. And if your turn was get this, move, move, move. I oh, I only have one action because of the drawing of extra cards. Okay. So your turn is probably get that and move. It's either get that and move, or get that and move, so that you can do more stuff with this. Yeah. Um... What happens if you, yeah. like, unflood a location one of these guys is at? Oh, they can stay out there. They, they can, can stand stay. there, right? Yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. What um... happens... Oh, well, right. Well, not engaged. Yes, okay. <clears throat> I keep, I keep forgetting. I was like, what happens if, like, he moves you down into something that's not flooded? Right? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Nothing. It just keeps working. <laughs> the reason okay. I was asking is because, like, if I were to move here, I could help you do more on floodings, yeah. and then maybe that would be an easier way down for us. I think I have, I think I have two good, good tests. Uh, I have one very good Tests. I have one gearish test and one non gearish test, so maybe I succeed, maybe I don't. Um, I guess something to consider is I do have the awakened mantle, so like when we do the sprint, if these are all, par or if these ones are partially flooded, I can still go through a bit quicker. Yeah. So there might be an that, argument yeah, for like really lowering one this. of them. Except or, if he's here, then you just get dragged down. Yeah. I feel like lowering this one is a good way for us to not get killed stupidly, if that makes sense. Yeah. That's probably true. Getting it getting it at least not fully flooded. Yeah. Okay, uh, so if you can help then, if you have yeah. a good help turn, you should go first. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna try to do that by uh, investigating this location with my right of seeking, unfortunately. Yeah, all right. Which means that it might not work, right? Um, if I if I pull a symbol, okay. but 
I just don't pull symbols. No punish. No punish. Just always pull minus twos with my right of seeking. Uh, and in yeah, this way, are. I am uh, become indestructible. Uh, a red key is a gilded key made of coral and covered in strange glowing runes. The word. Yahanathlai. Ye Yahanathlai? Oh, yes, Yahanathlai. Did I do it right? Okay, good. It. It's inscribed upon the handle. Handle. I, uh, thought, I thought I lost you there. I thought I, just, thought, I, gonna... I thought I had a stroke, is what I thought. <laughs> All right. And then I scooch over once. Mm -hmm. Which I'm happy with. Okay. So, if you don't clear this, I am taking three pump actions, clearing out as much of this as I can, yep. and I then getting good. yanked away. I think that's okay. And I think all of that is good. Yeah, no, I think that's actually just good. Uh, hang on. Then my next turn is one, two, resign. Because I run down faster with the grappler engaging me. Yes, that's right. And we don't want to stand here. Good. You do not want to end your turn here. That is very correct. Because that will be fucking you big time. Oh. Even ending here is dangerous. Because it could move the flood over. Yeah, that's that's a concern now. Uh, and I think... Hmm? It's... I mean, I think it's ju it just needs to be done. It is Rolling Tide that does that, though. Uh, and we do have them both in the discard pile. Oh, okay. Well, not for long. Not for long, but but for the moment, we're okay. we're a little safe from that. Okay. 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 So, yeah, I think I do pump three times and I get yanked. Okay. Here is two icons for that. Okay. Um. Well, that makes me six on two. Uh. So I think I just don't use Girish on this one. I just use Lena. And yeah, six on two. Minus zero is a over success for a card. And a total on flood of the exit location. Nice. Uh, action two, I will use Gearish for a six on two test. Would you like it to be a six on zero? <laughs> uh, might as well do that on the last one. Okay. Uh, that's a zero. <laughs> what the uh, hell? Never, never punished for literally anything ever. Uh, so I will, um, I will unflood this next because keeping this grappler out of the way is actually Ooh, yes, that's really true. important right now. Yep. yep. Uh, and then last action, I will do the pump test a third time. Uh, and this is a four on zero that's thanks to gumption, which does not get deleted. I, I gotta make sure I haven't done that. Uh, <laughs> no. Have you? No, okay. I have not. Uh, and and I draw the one? plus one because all our bad luck from last week has turned into good luck this week. And I'll unflood the, the bottom spot. Okay. And then, and then, then you'll get you pulled over. over. Yes. I call with C. Uh, I will yep, that's correct. Shite. Oh, at the end of your turn, discard totality. That's interesting. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. There's actually a way out by going through the jail too, if we needed. It's it's raw locations. It's just as fast as going through the lower depths, but hmm. comes with. But you can't flood through here, so or mantle through here, through the. Oh you can yeah, here, so. I have to. Ooh, how am I gonna do this? Uh, you're going to draw a card that increases your flood level this turn. This mythos phase. Correct. Uh, we go to one of three doom. Or an enemy and tank the whole thing. Tank it the uh, whole way down. Actually, that, yeah. <sighs> ah! Okay. Uh, okay. Um, is that one annoying? Do I have a grizzled in my discard pile? No, because I would have put it aside. Um... for you. I don't think that, like, kills me or anything, does it? 
No, I not, think I just, not remotely. I think I just eat that. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. We just removed the last curse and, 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 yeah. and this goes here. That's fine. We don't even take the damage from the tablet. <laughs> oh. Okay, so... Yeah, you're... You're right that you don't actually get out here. Not this turn. Not this turn. You go one, two, three. Which is just a little scary if you draw something that mm -hmm. increases the flood. Um, I mean, I could just stand here. To go one, two. Yeah. And then go one, mantle, two, resign. And that also makes it so that, like, hey, if I just so happen to fuck, if, you know, if something really fucked up happens, at least I'm close enough to come back here and keep trying this. Yeah. Right. Uh, I think we get me out, though. Oh, yeah. Because that is one fewer encounter card to draw. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. And we've Speaking hit both of, of our card, doom. You do still have hit both our auto, right? Our auto doom cards. Uh, did I not? I did not. Fine. Born to breed. Discard it without effect. Woo! I I wish that was your next round card. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Uh, this rate, no, we've already seen one call of the sea. Um, whatever. Um, cool. Yeah, uh, I'll go. I'll move down. The grappler will engage me, which runs me straight down. And then I'll walk to the moon room, taking an attack of opportunity. Thanks, Gurish. And I'll resign. So, here's an interesting effect. I was bitching about the moon room being on the bottom row. If the moon room's on an upper row, in this version of the scenario, you have to kill the grapplers. We don't have to here, because he can just... Like, engaging him at the end doesn't matter. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's neat. That's cool. Yeah, no, that's neat. I like... Th this monster's really interesting. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to scooch over one. Mm -hmm. And then I guess I'll just do a really big uh, attack with my Brand of Cthulhu. Huh, that's weird. Yeah. Plus one. Get out of here. Um, then I'll take a dollar, I guess. I think this is what we discussed. I just feel weird yeah. about it. I'm just, I'm just doing that thing where you look at it all again and reconsider. And yeah. I mean, the thing is, any enemy you draw, because the bull's dead. So any enemy you draw, you can just tank. That's right. Because you, all you have to do is two move actions. Yep. Yeah. Oh, and that's that's long since gone. Okay. Two out of three doom. Two of two or three doom. It attacks me. It kills my plucky. Because I, I can't lose. I don't want to lose an action because that nope. actually sucks. Uh, and it, you get to take an action. Uh, oh, I do get to take an action. Yes. Uh, I will move here and then instant... Uh, I can't use this right away, right? Correct. Okay. Uh, you do take an act attack of opportunity for moving, but... That's fine. And then this guy... And you get the lurking people. <laughs> okay, I'll put a, hor uh, a damage on that for engaging me. And then... I will add the Grizzled to my hand as a meme. <laughs> um, I actually really like Grizzled, man. I really like it's, it now. It's done work. Yeah, it's really I, good when you can just choose this many traits. I particularly like it in, in Patrice here because we always talk about how transient your hand is. And now this is just a thing that you can put in your hand and always use. 
Yeah. Like, there's always something to do with it. I wish there was a way I could, like, search my deck for an innate... An innate like, I wish I, I could fix this being in my discard pile sooner after I reshuffle. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because the times when yeah. I don't have a winging it and a, and a grizzled in my discard pile can be annoying, but not so much that yeah. it's, like, killing me, right? Uh, so, yeah, yeah. I, I awakened Mantle, and then I move for a damage and a horror. Uh, damage to horror, and that guy engages me, and I get shoved down even farther. Uh, and resign does not provoke attacks of opportunity. And I resign. Yeah. Woo! Nicely done. We did a. That was that was that was pretty good. Yeah, it was a lot cleaner than last week. That's so much better than last week. Oh, and the red key and the black key technically like go on the act, right? Yeah. Yes. Do the rest of them get dropped? That's kind of funny. Uh, they they do technically. We just fucking that. say get the fuck out of here. What's the green key again? I don't remember what it actually is. A fist sized cluster of raw per peridot? Peridot. Peridot? That pulses peridot. and glows with unnatural light. Peridot. That's the type uh, of peridot. gem, right? It's a green gem. It comes from outer space and it uh, eventually decides to join Steven and the rest of the crystal gems because it doesn't like the stuff from Homeworld. <sighs> Was this like. Was that a Steven Universe thing? That's the Steven Universe, yeah. Okay, all right. I was, I was like, this has got to be a reference. There's no way it's And not. in fact, that's the only reason I know to call it Peridot, because my Canadian instinct is to call it Peridot. Yes, that's correct. <laughs> How'd you know that? <laughs> uh, Stupid rule. Uh, the underwater tunnels seem to go on forever, stretching into murk-ridden eddies. Dark salt water crashes against the glass helmet of your suit. After what feels like an eternity, you burst into the cold evening air, chilled to the bone. You pull the heavy suit off piece by piece the moment you reach the shore. R1. Exhausted, you throw yourself onto the rocky shore. Waves lap at your ankles as you stare into the sky. Behind the clouds, deep crimson hues spell an ominous end for all of humanity. Your skull pounds with agony as you struggle to remember why. The moon and sun slide into alignment. A thunderous crash resounds in the distance. Dark, churning clouds swirl and seethe over the hateful ocean. What does it all mean? What is the truth behind the esoteric order of Dagon? The truth hidden in Devil Reef? Darkness overtakes your senses once more. Um, we both possess a diving suit. Mm -hmm. We possess the map of Yehanathle, and we possess the mm -hmm. key to Yehanathle. Mm -hmm. And we can add these to our deck if we want to. Is it is it that I can add these ones to mine, and you can add those ones to yours? No, we can do it anyway. We can do any combination we want because no, we picked the them all up you at got, some point. What was the one you got rid of? Uh, it was the, uh, headdress. Right. Plus, while investigating a flooded location or while attacking an enemy at a flooded location. Uh, I mean... I mean, to be honest... I think, I think the idol maintain, remains ex excellent on you. Yeah, I mean, bonus actions on Patrice are just nuts. Um, yeah, and the mantle's still pretty The good. mantle's really good. I also like both of these as plucky soak for you. Uh, that's that's absolutely true. The funny thing about the the headdress is like the plus one to investigate is actually really nice for me, but I feel like yeah. the or while attacking an enemy at a flooded location really is nice a me. lot nicer I for you. I can also use I can also do the investigate option. So Oh that's true, yeah. The other thing is like, that like I just see all of these and can afford them. Mm. Um, but that being said, I feel like I feel like these two do a really good job for me, and this one's fine for you. So I'm, I'm yeah. okay with just doing uh, it. Do these not the go dress, in right now? I am now? reliably at like a six or more. So yeah, depending on who I. Do these go in play. right now, though? They do. They're added to your deck at this point, and then we get XP, but the XP doesn't get spent. Right, the XP doesn't get spent. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Uh, and the XP we got is just what's in the victory display, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, a healthy uh, seven because we got captured. Nice a healthy number. Um, uh, yeah, but we go to scenario seven and do not spend XP now. Yeah, um, um, at a crossroads. Kind of. It's good. 
kind of cool to actually need to make those decisions because I don't think that's ever actually. I feel like I've never had any tricky decisions up to this point with it. I enjoyed every time we made the decision. Yeah, it made for an interesting point. And I could see how at a four-player table that would be like a moment every time that happened, right? It's like, okay, yeah, we need to figure out who needs these cards or who can afford to lose a card to take an action right now. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's really cool. I like how that plays out in Patrice. So... My biggest issue with this campaign is the the same one Jeff winging it has described. In fact, I, I have stolen this problem from him. Um, you go into scenario seven, but you can't spend your XP, and then scenario eight's kind of easy. So you are basically going into scenario seven, scenario six with your final deck for the campaign, right? Except we didn't get a, an upgrade between Scenario 6 and 7 due to our failure in Scenario 6. So Great. we're basically... Or Scenario 5. So we basically went into uh, Horror in High Gear with our final decks. Kind of. <laughs> Which is fine, because our decks actually got to do their stuff and shine here. Yeah. I put, I put Gearish in the deck. I, I, I've mentioned this before to you, I think. Like, when I sit down to chart out or think about my upgrades for a campaign, yeah. basically what I do is I ask myself, what is the biggest failure point in the campaign, and how does my deck handle that? And so what I actually did was I said, okay, how do I handle the pump room? Hmm. Girish and Greta. Yeah. And, and, that, then, and that's exactly and what happened. that informed a lot of my deck building. Yeah. Was how do I get these two in my deck so that I can play them? to get out through the pump room if this happens. So, I, I did what I set out to do in this It certainly works. I, um... I think these are both really cool additions to the scenario. I love it. I love it. This seems hateful, though. This, this is terrifying if you cannot rush the effect is this a um, is this like this must be like a four player a three and four player like hey fuck you moment this is a nightmare in four player yeah and these were um, reasonable like this was a way yeah. to i think the thing about like, this what, is what I... happens normally is it just the same thing but those guys don't exist yeah yeah so yeah. like i like that it adds a bit of extra pressure to that finale mm-hmm it, it adds a little more pressure and like one of my frustration actually my only frustration with this scenario is that the difficulty varies wildly because if your moon room is on the bottom floor mm-hmm. that is substantially harder than if, if your moon room is on the top floor and you never let it flood and you just walk out right yeah you 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 decrease its flood once in the pump room and you leave yeah so like but the way the grapplers work is just now even if your moon room is on the upper levels if the grapplers get you you can't do the thing people want to do in this scenario which is tank a bunch of opportunity attacks while moving to the moon room right because they mess with your movement and if someone leaves a grappler behind in the moon room then you just can't do that yeah someone else resigns from the moon room with one of them then you walk and the grappler just drags you down yeah so it it evens that out a bit because we didn't care about that effect at the end and in fact the grappler made it easier to get out because getting down spending the move actions to get down is what is frustrating here so yeah and that's kind of I'm interesting of it does a really good like yeah that's just it right it does a really good job of 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 making it harder when it's the higher up it is and actually making it easier the lower down it is to, to also an extent, the, you know, to an extent. This is a 3-2-4 enemy uh, that is potentially a 4-2-4 if um, you have a nursemaid around. Oh, and yeah, it hunts nice. It hunts in a really obnoxious way, which I'm a fan of. Like, hunter is a thing to deal with, but this weird only Hunting. hunts to fully flooded yeah. is actually something you have to consider 
managing properly. Yeah, um, I, I, that, that's a really good point. It's kind of like when enemies patrol to like a very specific spot. Yeah, and you're like, all right, they're gonna get there eventually, and then they're just gonna fucking stop, and then something's gonna happen. And this is this guy is going to stand right next to me, fucking waiting. <laughs> yeah. As close yeah, as he so can I, get, he's going to get there, and then he's going to just be like, hello. <laughs> yeah, so I think there's, there's a lot of cool interactions with this. Yeah. Um, I feel like this. Did, and, I feel like these did a good job of, of shaking up the scenario. Um, yeah. I mean, this is already a very good scenario. Yeah, this um, is this is. I'm a, a fan of it because of the it's campaign. the last scenario that I lost on my first play. Yeah. Um, Every scenario since this I've beaten on my first play, so Duke defeated me. Well done. Um, <laughs> also, did you know Duke was an intern when he designed this scenario? Yeah, yeah. I think that's why. I think that's why he ended up getting uh, yes. getting hired. That's a job interview right there. Yeah, I'm, I'm taking. I'm taking a look at these. Rolling um, Tide. We didn't see really do anything this. Yeah, season. we were lucky to draw those early. The Call of the Sea. Um, depending, you know, if we had gotten these at different times, this would have been really fucking annoying. But I think this is an not... interesting one here because it's it, the nature of the scenario is you end up with a bunch of sporadic, fully flooded. So this can be chaotic in where it pulls you. Yeah, but because we avoided being deep ones, it was also really easy to clear. It was it very was. cheap, very inexpensive for us to get rid of this. Um, if it had ever been a problem. The struggle for air was like whatever. I don't know. Um, yeah. I mean, my, my strategy for it remains to discard everything that's not a machete and yeah. take a damage. Yeah, take a damage. Horror, but... Yeah. It's, 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 definitely, um, it's definitely a weird card and doesn't do anything special in this scenario, mm -hmm. I don't think. But also, I don't think, like... I'm on record that Riptide is uh, one of the easiest, and in fact, sorry, Undertow. Undertow is one of the easiest to deal with encounters, and in yeah. fact, sometimes one of the most beneficial encounters. Yeah, yeah. And then these ones, these are in place of Syzygy, right? Yeah. Um, so the the big difference is that the King I feel Tide. here is that King Tide is only Doom. Uh, sorry, no, Occultation. Is only doom. Right, we don't we don't ever all lose a resource because mm -hmm. someone has any amount, right? Mm -hmm. Or we don't all take two horror. It is just always the doom. Yeah, which um, I don't know increases the time pressure. Yeah, but the king tide—that's the one we were talking about in another scenario. Where it was like, hey. Remember how you used to end your turn at a location and say, I'm safe, it's fine, everything's fine. Right. And this is the one that goes, no, fuck you, you're fully flooded now. Yeah. Right? Um, yeah. And that that one's really nasty for this one in the orientation we had, right? Because the pump, like yeah. you said, the pump room's as far away as possible from the moon room, as it can be. And if you were to just run there and say, I'll resign next turn, you draw this... Nope. Yeah, that's that's worse. Um, and the rolling tide is is worse. It's especially bad for trying to get out. Yeah. Um, fortunately, we drew all the flood increasers early, early on. So on. Yeah, that's right. It but was if, it was if, weird to not think about that. Yeah. Because that was definitely in my mind. Like the second we started pumping this, I was like, "Man, that uh, fuck! Yeah. How many of those are left?" <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, it's a good, it's a good scenario though. I think that was a good, it's a good yeah. like little tweak to it to shake it up without like seriously doing a lot. But then these guys, I mean, no, these guys do. The fact yeah. that you're gonna have a, a bunch of enemies that are, that have the capability of shoving you around right at the very end there is is definitely yeah. substantial. This again, this is light in the fog is already just a very good scenario. Yeah. Um. So, I mean, th th we've said this a lot about Innsmouth. Innsmouth, despite its structural problems that I have, is a bunch of very good scenarios. And so in cases like this, you're not tweaking it. or You're not trying to change up what it's doing. You're just adding something cool. 
Yeah, and exactly. And this is a good way I of adding I think these do that. These do that really well. I would be really I like worried about this absolutely in hosing you in four player, though. Holy shit. It would. It would. I think... So I think that's interesting in four player because it... Yeah, in two player, it you kind of just have to keep going through it the, the way we did. Um, and hope you get lucky like we did. But in four player, this is almost saying like rush you have to rush finding once you see you that purple key finding the purple key and the nursery or these are gonna cycle yeah and these um, like shuffling all of the deep one hatchlings back into, how many how many are there are there three or are there four i think there are three yeah i think there's three but there's just, just there's just so much that goes wrong Like, that's so many actions wasted, or more probably horrors pinged. I was well, no, thinking it's, it's more an action the... to, to kill it often, and the horror for pinging, and... And it moves, also, and know, it moves any deep ones around, and so if there's the nursemaids hanging out, then they're they're likely to engage you and make you draw another encounter card. The, yeah. Yeah. Seeing these guys again is 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 really mean. Even if they're just a 1-1-1, one, 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 it's a 1-1-1 one, one, one with Surge that also makes you lose an action or take a horror. Like, this, this is such a weird, yeah. like, non-enemy enemy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. there's so many enemies in the game that the second you draw it, it's like, okay, do I have a solution for my enemy, or am I fucking toast, right? Mm -hmm. there's so many enemies in the game that are like that where it's like okay this guy's dealing me one damage and one horror every action until I until I finally do some fights and evades on him and this guy is just like nah this is like a treachery written on an enemy card because it's just it a 1-1-1 one, one, yeah. one. right um, which is cool it's interesting that they that, 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 that they're able to do that which is like a little wimpy character such a such a good design it's fucking ear eating that eating that ear god it's one of my favorite enemies i think is it's safe to say because like there are other enemies that i think are cool but i also hate every time i draw them like i still love the design of whippoorwill six years later seven years later but i hate whippoorwills i just hate whippoorwills um i don't even like them in real life dude they suck their, sa their, their call doesn't even sound like Whippoorwill. I don't know how they got that name. Yeah. Have you heard them? But like, I, I have. Yeah. I, I don't. I also don't think it sounds like that. <laughs> but, you know, the, the deep one hatchling. It's just, it's just a great card. I love every single thing about the design. I'm not mad when I draw it. It's, it's like a thing I have to deal with. But I'm not mad about drawing it. Yeah. I like that the one 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 stat line. I, it's kind of astonishing how, like I said, seeing this one 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 stat line makes me go like, this isn't even barely an enemy, which is crazy oh. for how threatening enemies can be, right? Yeah, and he's so he's so cute too. He's so evil and cute. Oh, did you like the deep one? <laughs> did you like the fucking oh, yeah. deep one grin that I made with this? <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck I was happy with that uh, one I will say the other really good thing you did was uh, evading the Saros that just oh yeah that was, no, that, was that was and I mean that's just like Patrice serendipity moment where it's like okay I drew all the cards that I can to, to actually to actually pull off this evade perfect yeah right um, yeah a lot I really, of the time I like, like that about Patrice right like sometimes that screws you right waiting for those moments yeah. And when it doesn't, you're just like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like, okay, cool. Let's see yeah. what I get to do today. Yeah. I think next uh, time I play her, there's one th there's one thing about this deck that I, I wish that I had just not spent the XP on it, and I did not mean to click that. <laughs> uh, and I think I'm going to do a quick control Z. Do it. Um, do it. Is the Astral Mirror. I, I hadn't considered that if I play my spells... Uh, I can't just get rid of them to clear up hand slots. Mm. 
And so there was a spot there where I had a Dendromorphosis and two spells in play and could afford an Astral Mirror in my hand. I was wondering. And I was like, yeah. oh, I guess I just don't do that. Fine. Whatever. Right? Like, I was like, fuck, that's annoying, but okay, sure. Anyways, yeah, the, I, I think that... Um, okay, thank you, update notification. I appreciate you. Um, you're, you're very valid and cool and interesting. Um, I think that, uh, with, 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 with considering that it would be a much better card if I basically only had the brand of Cthugas, mm -hmm. or if I had, um, Sacrifice. Yeah. And I don't want to put Sacrifice into this deck now. Because I don't think it's actually... I think it's actually just not that good of a card with everything else the deck is doing. Yeah. There's not enough uh, like mystic targets for that to make sense for me. It's just the right of Seeking and the brand. Yeah. And I'm not really ever guaranteed of getting it at the right time, right? So I don't think that's worth clearing up a hand slot. So I kind of... Yeah. I'm I'm not sure if I want to just like upgrade past that, like upgrade out of the astral mirror and just say fuck it, whatever. Dendromorphosis yeah. is fucking me; it's fine. I mean, it all depends on the order things come down. I think there are times when it's still worth. I mean, you yes, draw it if at the I, top if, of the game, you just play it. Yeah, exactly. If you draw it, you draw it turn one. It's worth a bunch of actions for three bucks. Fine, right? Like whatever. Yeah, but anyways, I'll have to think about it. Uh, Side note about sacrifice. My, uh, my favorite story of Sacrifice ever. Uh, I was playing Carcosa. Um, I think I was a Leo, actually. Uh, and my, my teammate was Jim. We were in Fan of Truth, which has a location. Uh, as an action, you reveal the top card of each player's deck. Yeah. And you can play one of those cards. <laughs> uh, maybe even at a discount. So Jim plays my Enchanted Blade from the top of my deck. And then a couple turns later, uses sacrifice on it because it's a mystic asset. Yeah, <laughs> I was just like, wait, 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 wait. you could do that. You took my sword <laughs> and then you sacrificed it. <sighs> Fine. It was a really good play. Uh, it worked well, but things I never saw coming. 